Hey guys, what's up? It's me Nate, here to make another video. So, we covered wadbers, we covered reloads, we covered unloads. Now it's time to move on to crepes. Now when I mean crepes, I don't mean the delicious food that you can have for breakfast. Even though those are really good. Um, I'm talking about crepes as in for symbols, which is basically just flipping it side to side. Some people call them flapjacks. I don't know, the di names will be different everywhere you go. Um, this time I'm coming from the outside. A little chilly out today, but it's still a nice day. Um, welcome to Northern Illinois. Um, some news is we thought we crush got moved up to World, and looking forward to seeing some of you guys at the championships in Dayton. Let's get started. So first things first is um, crepes. I'm just gonna give you an example. So now we're all on the same page here. When I'm doing crepes, I really think of it as just kind of doing unloads, well, reloads and unloads. But except if going all the way around, I'm, really, I'm stopping it with, the, with my hand, the top of my hand or the palm of my hand, depending which way you're going. If you go out, top of your hand, inwards, bottom of your hand. With the inwards, I'm really just kind of catching it back here at tabletop. Now there's many different ways to do crepes. I personally use really small motions, which is I'm basically using nothing but turning my wrist back and forth. This is really all the motion that I'm doing. I know some places they use bigger motions. I know Kevin explained to me that when he was at Mandarin's they use really big motions. I'm not going to attempt it because I'll probably butcher it, and I don't want to do that. So. There's that. The same thing transfers onto the left hand. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Now there's several different patterns of crepes. Here's the first one. I just got to think of passing it back to the fourth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next is I'll um, they mirror each other. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The next one is they go with each other. Which that one you will start with a lead symbol, right? One, two, three, four. Same with the other way. Now the next one is um stagger, which um I basically think of as doing the eighth notes, which is right or whichever one you start with would be the downbeat, then the other one would be the air counts. One and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and So when I when I'm doing my crepes you want to make sure that you get them nice and parallel with the ground. Now there's also half crepes. Just don't get falling all the way. But if you're doing one or the other, you want to make sure you do that. You don't really want to just go lazily with it. Just kind of make sure you stick to it. Unless when the visual is defined as a certain way. That's it for crepes for today. So yeah, um... WGI Finals is coming up in a couple weeks. Um, hit me up if you wanna, if you see me there, and see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.